Welcome back programmers, Guillaume here. Today I'm back on the simple image processor. Once again, episode 11. Yes, we're close to the end, but this time I'm doing the batch resize. You take a folder and you resize all the images within this folder, even within the subfolders. So in this episode, you will learn how to go through a directory and check out every file and even do some recursion. So check it out. And uh, in this episode as well, I'm picking the winner of the t-shirt giveaway for the 100 subscriber. So you'll see. So batch resize, let's go. Okay, so we are back in the code. So the simple image processor. First, I will remove the uh, feature, the possibility to save ICO files uh, because we cannot save ICO files. Thanks to one of you who actually told me that in the comments. So to remove the ICO saving, first I need to remove this enumeration, then in the open save as window right here I need to remove the references to the ICO right here the case right there and when I open the window here I don't want to be able to save ICO so right here and right there okay we are good to go about the ICO files. Now, let me, uh, so now we want to do first thing, we want to add a batch menu. And in this batch menu, we'll have a resize, so batch resize. And this will open a new window, new form. And we'll start from there. We already know how to do a new form, new window, open that. So I'm going to do it very quickly. First thing, I will open my batch resize form. Look at that. I've created it already. You can check it out. It's the same as the resize. It's just open a new form. So here I have a string gadget to select the folder, the button here to have this uh, folder, the path requester. Include subfolder is a checkbox to include or not the subfolder when you do your batch resize. Width and height. Um, and with a, a, an option here, an option gadget. Uh, in, in Windows, you can call that a radio button as well. This is an uh, exclusive choice. You can select either width or height. Here I want to say which dimension do I enforce? Do I enforce the width or do I enforce the height? So when you select width, it will disable the height and when you select height, it will disable the width. I also wanted to display a progress bar because if you have, let's say, 100 images to resize, you want to see the progress and you want to know when it's done. And finally, the resize button and cancel button. Okay, all good stuff. We can switch back to the code to see Nothing unknown right here. And so that's for the batch resize uh, form. I need to add this form to the project. So I'm going in the project, project options, project files, batch resize, add, done. And now let's go in the main file, in the zip main, I need to include I need to include my batch file. Oops, sorry. That's one. I also need to create the menu. Okay, where are my menus? They are right here. Menu item. Okay, batch resize. Okay, then in the main window, if we want to see a menu, of course, we need to so let me switch back to here, the main open window main, where we create the menu. We want to create a new menu title. 
which is going to be batch and menu item which is resize for this menu here because we, you're not using you're not going to use that too often i'm not putting any shortcuts then you need to manage the event when you click on the menu so on menu event here we need to add a new case right right here so i have some troubles with my indentation but here menu battery size open window battery size disable window main we open the child window and we disable the main window to make it model you already know that also i need to handle the closing of the window so here open window battery size will open the code that is in the here open window battery size okay and as i said i need to handle the closing of the windows so on a close child window no not this one on close window event and here i have i will replace that with these and actually what it does i'm just adding the window battery size case here closing child window and i just reordered these two cases as well and that's a first step in our uh, development so here now i have the menu let's try that i have my sip batch menu resize item when i click it opens the window nothing works of course in in here no nothing and if i close it the window is closed so that works next step well we need to uh, wire you know the different functions so the buttons so first what i'm going to do is initialize the uh, gadgets when i'm opening the window so to do that i'm creating a new procedure Uh, a new procedure that is called on open batch resize window that opens the batch resize window and initializes some gadget so i'm calling here the open batch resize and what do i do i set the gadget state to my option width so by default the width is going to, going to be enforced the, the option gadget will be set to the width i'm disabling the height I'm setting the gadget state to for the progress bar I'm setting it to unknown and I'm disabling it and finally once this window is open I'm disabling the main window I can add a space here a blank line and of course I need to call this new function this new procedure instead of calling the open window battery size I'm calling open battery size window okay that's for opening the window and oh i don't need to disable it because it's already done in the open battery size window procedure what i want to do is i want to keep well it's not really the good moment to do that but i'm going to add a viable here let's call it this block for not global variables but main variables okay i want to define this batch path main variable and i'm going to use that to keep the folder path that is going to be chosen when you open the batch resize win the batch resize window you are going to choose a folder to process and if you close the 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 window and you reopen it i want to have this folder to be kept between the the two calls so i'm using this batch path dollar here to do the trick and in my open battery size window where is it oh i have no idea cannot see it right here i don't know why maybe i need to save 
open it's right here open battery size window here I need to put a little piece of code before opening the battery size window I'm going to do that check this out here I have the shared so I'm using a shared uh, variable this time so I'm using this main variable within this procedure so batch path dollar if it's empty I'm initializing the batch path dollar to the current directory so that's where I'm initializing it so yes I'm initializing it to the to uh, sorry the get current directory so this uh, command it's a pure basic command that returns the path of the current directory and right here that's done already the batch path set gadget text I'm putting this batch path dollar into the string folder and we can already test this so check it out batch resize here I have my default folder so this is initialized to width so we need to do more code to do that and plus we need to do more code to manage the gadget events you know that already to manage the gadget events of the new window of course so first let's take a break here okay so it's time to pick the winner of the 100 subscribers giveaway so I'm switching to my Chrome and here my comment picker here I need to take the URL of this video paste it here get YouTube comments unique commenters only nine of you guys have commented this video but yet I will pick up someone who is gonna be and it's Stefan Schenzer. Well, I hope I pronounce your name correctly. So congratulations, Stefan. You have won a pure programming t-shirt. So you can drop me an email at guillaume at pure-programming.com and we will I will make sure that you receive your t-shirt. Congratulations again. Let's go back to code okay so now we have everything we not we don't have everything we have our window and we need to manage the gadget events of this new window so I will add a new procedure for that let's put it here anywhere here okay control I and then I need to call this where on gadget event and I will replace uh, everything here here I reordered things so I have save as resize and batch resize so I'm calling the batch resize window gadget event let's have a look at this procedure first so I'm selecting which gadget received an event if I click on the folder requester so the button with the ellipsis I will display I will retrieve my initial path from my string folder gadget if it's not zero if the string is not empty sorry if the string is empty I'm getting the user profile user profile okay it's my home I have two initial values it's 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 weird what I've done but whatever and here I'm opening a path requester so it's a new um, requester you have the open file requester the save file requester this one is path requester you also have the message requester of course but the path requester is asking for is, is going to return a folder path not a file but a folder and I'm putting this uh, return value in the set gadget text in the string folder if I'm 
clicking on the radio button on the option gadget for the width, I'm disabling the height and, and enabling the width. If I'm clicking on the height, I'm disabling the width and I'm enabling the height. Then if I'm clicking on the resize button here, I retrieve my uh, parameters, so the, the dimension, I compute the dimension, depending, yes, depending on which option, okay, I'm here, I'm reading the value that is in the string width gadget, and if the option button has been checked, meaning it should be, it should enforce the height, then I'm, instead I'm reading the height. I could have done an else or whatever, but I did it like this to limit the number of ifs. And then what I do is I debug everything. Path, include folders, dimension, is width, and I'm closing the window. And if I click on the cancel button, I'm closing the window. Let's try this. Ta-da! Batch, resize. I have my window. If I click here, look at that. I can select the path, images, Okay, I can check it here, include subfolders, I can select height, width, you see, still disabling the other. Let's put 100 for the height and click on resize. And here I have my debug window saying, my path is this, include subfolder, yes, dimension is 100. Is it the width? No, it's not. And if I open again and I click on cancel, it closes the window that works. And finally, the main feature, which is the actual resize of the files, all the images within the, the folders and maybe the subfolders. So, I will copy paste two procedures and I will explain that to you. I will put them right here. Okay do a quick indentation control i okay and i need to call those two procedures so uh, the first one is launch batch resize it actually resizes all the image of a folder okay i can call it even batch resize i don't know why launch batch resize it takes the path the include subfolders zero or one do i include it or not the dimension the dimension being either the width or the height you want to enforce and the prefix uh, no the uh, uh, another boolean integers is it the width that i've passed or is it the the height so it will make the dimension mean the height or the width so true is the width false it's the height and then the prefix, I'm going to save all the files and I'm going to add a prefix in front of them. That's the prefix, R underscore, R for resize, I, I don't know. And that's the batch resize. And I have also the get images that will return all images that needs to be, that need to be resized. So we need to call the batch resize, okay. So where are we going to call it? We are going to call it in the on battery size window gadget event. Instead of here having this, I will call the batch resize. And actually I have some code here to do so. Of course, here, um, once again, in the addition. All right, so I'm calling batch resize. I'm taking the path from the folder string gadget. I'm taking the include subfolder from the checkbox. The dimension is, we already computed it, either the width or the height. And the is width is taken from the option gadget. Let's explain in details those two procedures. Batch resize first batch resize, I'm reading, I'm saving the path for later use. 
I'm creating a new list that will contain all the file path of the images I need to resize. And I'm calling the gate images procedures. The path with the path, the subfolders, yes or no, and this list. And the get images will return the whole, as I said, all the images that need to be resized. After that, I'm enabling the progress bar. I'm also for the progress bar, basically I'm initializing the progress bar, so enabling it, then putting the minimum to zero. Minimum could be put at the beginning of, of opening of the window, but here I'm putting back zero the minimum. The size of the list, so the number of images that need to be resized as the maximum, and the progress starts at zero, meaning so far we have resized zero images, but we will the progress bar will go from zero to the number of images that need to be resized. I also disable all the other gadgets of the window and I start doing my resize. So what do I do? I iterate through all the images path that I found and I get the file path of each of them. I load the image and I just increment the counter here that I have declared right here is for the progress bar. If I am enforcing the width, then the dimension passed is the width. And I'm, I am recomputing the height based on the original dimension of so width and height of the, uh, the image. And dimension is um, what has been passed. So I'm recomputing the new height from the new width. And Conversely, if it's not the width, but if the if it's the height that we have passed, I'm setting the height here and recomputing the width from the image height and image width. After this if block, my width and height are the new width and height of my image. And so I resize the image, the image that have been loaded with a new width, new height, smoothly. I save the image. So where do I save the image? In the file path, but I add the prefix and I put back the file name. So the, the, the full path will be the original path, but the file name will be prefixed with my R underscore. And here, don't forget, here I need to enforce that the format that is going to be used to save my image is the actual image format. So if a JPEG, I will save a JPEG, a BMP, I will save a BMP, a PNG, I will save a PNG. And finally, what I do is I just update the progress bar with my count. So that has been incremented here. So my progress bar, file after file, will move up or right. And that's it for this procedure. But what does the get images do? Let's have a look get images get all images of a folder and subfolders optionally so returns only the images of authorized formats i will return only the images that can be loaded and saved by the plugins remember the use png decoder use jpeg decoder encoder decoder it's the reason why you cannot save ico files so get images, it's a recursive procedure. Let's have a look. I'm passing a path, include subfolders and the list. Initially the list is empty and I am going to fill it up. So examine directory will list all the entries of a specific folder directory. That creates a listing ID. If the listing ID is okay, then I'm iterating through the files, no, through the entries of the directory. I'm getting the name of the entry, directory entry name. I'm getting the type. So if the type is a file, then maybe it's an image. 
So I'm trying to load the image. If it's an image, if so if I can load the image and it's not an icon, because I cannot save icons, then I say that the load, lo the load was successful and I'm adding a new element to my list, which is the full path of my image. And then I'm releasing the image. If it's not an image, I don't do anything. I just go to the next file. If the entry of the directory is not a file, meaning it's a folder, it's a directory, then I check, should I include the subfolder? But you have two special folders in any directory, in any folder, you have two special folders, the dot, which is the current one, and the dot dot, which is the parent one. And you don't want to, ex to examine those because it's going to be an infinite loop. Uh, as soon as you are going to examine or to go into uh, the dot, meaning the current directory, it's going to loop infinitely. So we want to avoid dot and dot dot. And we are doing that only if we include subfolders. So if we include subfolders and we're not talking about, we're not um, currently processing dot or dot dot, well, we're just calling recursively the same procedures. We are calling get images again, this time with the path of the folder. So current path plus the name of the folder plus the backslash. PS dollar is the path separator, okay, backslash in, in Windows. Include subfolders again and file path the list. And this will again recursively fill it up with all the images included in the subfolders and that's it when the so i do that for all the entries of the folder and at the end after the when finish directory to close the listing of my directory and that is it at the end of the initial call the file path will be filled with all the path of the images that have been found in uh, the folder and maybe the subfolders as well. And that is it. Done. Batch resize calling the get images. Let's test that. F5. Okay. Batch resize. So I have a folder images with two subfolders, sub and sub2, that contain. So the first one, the images folder, contain contains a text file to check that text files are not processed and two one PNG one JPEG and the two subfolders one is containing also a PNG and a JPEG and the other one some pictures JPEG okay so I'm gonna first try to do it not including subfolders so here I'm selecting images okay and I'm gonna enforce the width to 100 resize very fast it's resizing two images here we are we have the cheat cheat sheet v1 mini the png and the theater look at that i have two new images r underscore this one is 100 pixels wide and this one is also 100 pixels wide that works what about the subfolders nothing has changed okay now let's do that again let me remove these two images first let's do that again with including subfolders batch images has been kept between calls and i'm going to enforce the height this time maybe to 150 resize see the progress bar much more much longer so let's have a look oops so let's have a look. Once again, this has been resized to 150 pixels high. This one too. What about the subfolders? Resize as well the cat, 150 pixels high. Same thing because it was a square initially. Yes. So this one is a square, 150. And sub 2, the tree 
picture has been resized here r underscore 3 to 150 pixels high that works that's it that's it so guys the resize the batch resize works like a charm and voila the batch resize feature is done some ideas of improvement you can add a string gadget in the window to uh, let the user select uh, the prefix they want to choose they want to use for uh, the resized images any other ideas for improvement drop a comment down below congratulations again to stefan for winning the t-shirt i will get in touch with you quickly finally if you enjoy this channel remember you can subscribe right here check out the social media right there and the latest video right here that being said thank you all for watching i will see you soon